Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Battlefield has been a franchise I've played since Bad Company 2, and it's a series that means a lot to me. It gave me a lot of special moments with my friends and created a lot of fond memories of staying up late on school nights just bantering about the goofy stuff we do while playing. Well, years have passed and Battlefield grew up with me. It's much different from the class and role based shooter that I knew and now has been shifted to be a specialist oriented game. Although 2042 can be fun, this one element took a lot out of the game for me. It was less reliant on a team of random soldiers with a role and instead gave them special abilities and personalized loadouts. Now before anyone gets mad, I don't necessarily think this is a bad thing, nor do I think 2042 is a bad game. Right now in fact it's a great time to jump in for some casual arcade shooting. However, my tastes have changed since Bad Company released, and playing all these realistic shooters like Tarkov and Squad, they kind of really helped me realize what I loved about the series as a whole. I loved having a role, a job to do. It made me feel like I had purpose on the battlefield besides just running face first into a bullet. I had fun making sure my squad was healthy and could consistently defend an objective. Running from teammate to teammate to keep the fight engaged was how I made the game more fun for myself. But for me, this didn't really translate from the new battlefield. So when I heard about Battlebit, I fell in love again with what exactly I was looking for. Squad play with role select. An arcade shooter with an emphasis on playing as a team and working towards a common objective. Battlebit encourages team play by having role select right from the squad menu, and having proximity chat and being able to talk to soldiers around you and get immediate intel on enemy positions is a perfect way for great engagement during the entire session. People were role playing and just having a great time. Almost immediately I felt like I was playing Battlefield 3 again with all my friends. Something I noticed instantly was the weapon and vehicle balancing. It feels really good, a lot of the weapons are different in handling, and the animations for being a low poly game are really well done. Now let's talk about the obvious thing here, the low poly design choice. The game's graphic quality isn't anything special regarding fancy displays of destruction or carnage on the field. The subtle mix of having lower end graphics is actually a brilliant choice, as it will barely impact your computer. My GPU alone was barely above 25% usage during the match, which compared to 2042 is almost night and day. This one design choice allows for more focus where resources should go. I'm pretty sure since this game can run on the most potato of computers, this alone might be a reason for all the jam-packed servers. Oh, did I mention that the servers can also have up to 254 players playing at once? Normally when I'm playing a game with a huge player count, I expect a ton of lag or latency, but I got none of that. I expected to be rubber banding across the battlefield and having all of my bullets just hit way off target, but everything just worked as intended. One very impressive thing is that this entire game was created by a team of three developers. Not only have these developers captured what I loved about Battlefield, but it also gave me hope that there are people out there that enjoyed the same game for the same reasons I did. I played several matches with everyone having a positive outlook and experience. Battlebit has mechanics from both Battlefield and Squad present, and having that familiarity along with some intense gunfights gave me such a rush of nostalgia. Being able to take what I've learned from those games and apply them here was a really nice feeling because it translated so well. Battlebit is currently $15 on Steam, and even though it's an early access, in my opinion, it's a steal. This game is consistently being updated and worked on, and when the developers are trying so hard to shape the game into what the community wants through feedback and communication, it shows me that this game will last for a very long time. I love my time so far with Battlebit, and I can't wait to pour more hours into it. If you're looking for a game that manages to throw the feeling of early arcade shooters into modern standards, then look no further. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go load up another match. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. My name is Zen, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.